fights happen in bars, but usually they happen between two different guests and rarely is it a bartender getting beat up by a guest. And in this video, I'm gonna be telling you a story about when a bar guest assaulted my bar manager, but I'm also gonna show you how to make a rye hummingbird down while I'm doing it. Before I start telling you the story, uh, the cocktail I'm gonna be making for you today is called Rye Hummingbird Down. And it comes from one of my absolute favorite cocktail books, regarding cocktails by Sasha Petrosky and Georgette Moser Petrosky. If you want to check this book out, I really, really recommend it. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. This story actually happened back uh, in my early days of bartending. And I started bartending at a chain restaurant. Uh, it rhymes with Schmuno's and they serve Chicago style deep dish pizzas. And so we had a very interesting clientele. Uh, to say the least. This was one of those days when I, we used to have a lounge in front of the bar that had like some lounge tables and us bartenders, we kind of rotated who took care of the lounge and who took care of the bar. Um, and so this particular day, I actually wasn't bartending, but my bar manager was bartending and I worked the lounge with her. We kind of helped each other out. I would jump on service bar. So I walk into work at about four o'clock and I'm cleaning up the lounge. I'm, you know, wiping down the tables and everything. And at the bar, there's two guests. There is this young woman at the end of the bar, kind of near the exit of the bar. And then there's this older gentleman. Uh, we're going to call him Peter. Uh, I'm not going to use anyone's real name. So we're going to call it, call him Peter. My bar manager, I'm going to call her, uh, let's think here, Jessica. <laughs> uh, my bar manager, Jessica, she was working the bar. She was talking to Peter and this one woman was at the end. She was drinking a Manhattan um, by herself, not really talking to anybody. And, and so, um, you know, I'm minding kind of my business and I'm, you know, cleaning my tables or whatever. And so, uh, you know, this girl at the end of the bar, she drinks one Manhattan, drinks two Manhattans, drinks three Manhattans pretty quickly within about an hour. And so my, my bar manager, Jessica, she goes over to her and says, Hey, you know, I'm really sorry, but I'm not gonna be able to serve you any longer. You've been only here for an hour and you've already had three Manhattans. And so, you know, the girl barely really responded. Jessica went back to her work. She was getting the bar prepped for a busy night you know, conversing with Peter at the other end of the bar. So as soon as Jessica walks by her, this girl jumps up, grabs my bar manager by the back of the ponytail so that she can't move and starts punching her in the face from behind her. And I don't see any of this happening because I'm on the other side of the room cleaning a table. All of a sudden I hear Peter get up and he's an older gentleman, probably in his sixties. He jumps up and is like screaming to stop. And this is when I turn around. And the last thing I see is this girl just straight up punched my bar manager and then she kicked her and my bar manager flew into the booth that was maybe like four feet away and like hit her side on the table. By the time I get over there, I, this already has, all of this has already happened. I'm, I get over there and I just stand between them and I'm like, what is going on? And like, we like, Peter like detained this girl and then she was just like, I'm good, I'm good. And just like walked out the door. And so I'm talking to my bar manager, like, yo, like, are you okay? What happened? What's going on? And so she's like, yeah, I just, I, I cut her off. And then she just snapped on me and I didn't say a word else to her. I come to find out that this girl used to work at the same restaurant with my bar manager. And they apparently might've had some beef before. She, and apparently she was just kind of tapped in the head. Grab our chilled coop here, and then we're going to double strain into our cocktail glass. And so we end up calling the police and the police come by, you know, they get all of information, they watch some of the footage and they're just like, okay, like we're gonna go find her, you know, are you okay to work or, or whatever? And my bar manager's like, yeah, no, I'm fine. It's, you know, I'm just a little shaken up, but I'm okay. All right, let's give uh, this rye hummingbird down a taste here. Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. It's really delicious. It's almost like kind of like a whiskey sour with a little bit of a green chartreuse thrown in, but instead of sugar, it's honey. So you get that honey flavor. The lemon gives that, that nice bright acidity. The rye gives it that very distinct kind of spicy rye flavor. And the green chartreuse adds like a layer of uh, herbalness over the top that I really, really enjoy. And it kind of gives it just enough of a distinct uh, twist on like a classic, almost gold rushy, uh, whiskey sour type cocktail. What was the end result of the story? Well, eventually the police found this girl at the movies. She just decided to, yeah, I'm going to commit assault and then just go watch a nice flick at the movies. Um, and then I believe she got arrested and 
Yeah, I actually don't know what happened after that. I don't know if my bar manager pressed charges. So who knows? It was just uh, one of the most shocking things that I had to witness in my early bartending career. But there you have it. This is how you make a rye hummingbird down. If you wanna know how to make more awesome whiskey cocktails, I'm gonna leave a link for a video right over here that I did recently. Cheers.